Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very small thrift haul video of some um, items I purchased at the Salvation Army last week. And dang it, didn't I forget my receipt. I'll be right back. Wouldn't be a throw of the thrift video if I didn't forget something, right? I spent <laughs> $36.09. Yes. So, because this is not going to be a very large haul, I also um, figured I'd show you guys a few items that my friend Corey brought over for me um, when she came to pick up a couple of her items. So I will show you those first. Let me show you those first. She brought me this awesome set of utensils. They all match, they all have the yellow handles. The spatula. And <laughs> I think I need to go back to bed, get up again, have a few hundred more cups of coffee, and start over. <laughs> Poke me! I'm overdone, okay? The fork! Oh my goodness! So, it also comes, <laughs> uh, these are made by Andrak. It comes with the metal hanger. You attach on your wall and hence you hang all your lovely utensils from it. Um, so, she brought me this. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, pardon my big head in the camera. She also bought me this awesome, probably 1930s toaster. It is a General Electric. Um, I would I would clean this up and sell it, but um, not for use. Only for decor purposes, because it's a hot mess. And I have two cords here. See, it opens up on both sides. Bakelite handles, I'm assuming. Um, I need to really clean it up very well. Um, there are two cords that go with it or actually she brought me two cords. Hopefully one goes to this, but like I said, the cords are old. So I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't mess around with it. If you wanted to just, you know, put it out for decoration purposes, that would be my suggestion. I would not sell this for anyone to actually use, but it's a pretty cool piece. And as you see, it says General Electric. So, yep, General Electric. It's 450 watts. Yeah. 
So she brought that. And then she brought me a set of 16 Elegant Depression glasses. There are four of each type. So we will start off with the little um, sherbet uh, bowl. Then we have a cordial glass. Um, an I don't know glass for a little teeny bit of wine or a lot of wine, which I probably could use right now, I guess. <laughs> but these are gorgeous with the paneled um, pattern and the beautiful etched flowers, just gorgeous. And look at the stem on these. Beautiful, beautiful set. So it would, it's all 16 um, glasses um, are included in the set. So beautiful, beautiful goodies from my friend, Corey. Corey, thank you, thank you very much. All right, and actually, from the Salvation Army, now we're going to get into the Salvation Army part of this um, haul video. I got, this vase was so filthy, dirty. I was like, gee, I love it, I, I, but I hope that it'll come clean. Because sometimes you can't tell if it's like right into the glass or not. But look at this gorgeous vase. Elegant depression. Look at it. It's it got almost the same exact pattern as these glasses. Look at that. Beautiful. I love the design of it. It's just so pretty. And it did come very, very clean. If you could have saw it before I washed it, that's probably why it was still sitting on the shelf. People were probably like running away from it but I just thought it was beautiful, so I had to get it. Could you see like some red roses in here? Oh boy, they would look lovely in here. So we got that. This was finally on sale and I absolutely love it. Would you look at this beautiful oil and vinegar set? How pretty is this? And it is hand-painted and signed. I will show you. It was signed by Patty. Patty is the one who hand-painted this lovely set. And it, of course, it's in purple and green, which I love. Yes, it is, you know, I'm... Um, on both sides, it is gorgeous. Now, it does have a teeny tiny, let me take these out and I will show you, a very tiny little chippy right there on the rim. It's more like, it's like a sliver of a chip, you know what I mean? Just like the very top layer. So it is nothing major. And you could just turn it around the other way because it's got the pattern on both sides. So it doesn't matter. Nope, it sure doesn't. So I got that. I love that. I think that is so pretty. I found these two adorable little panda bear figurines. And as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh my goodness. I'm getting them. So let me tell you a little story about these figurines. Okay, so these would be adorable to put out for Valentine's Day. Because this little guy, look at his eyes. He's, he's doing the side eye and look at her. She's acting all bashful. He's got flowers for her. Now, over the summer, I think... 
might have been last year. I don't even remember now. All the days are just running together. Um, I had these two. I bought them at Salvation Army again. I went, was wrapping her, and she fell out of my hand in the parking lot and broke. So all I had was this guy. He had flowers and no one to give them to. So now I have her again. I have another, but I have two of the guys. So guess what? I'm just going to sell all three together and be done with it. But they're absolutely adorable. So there you go. I didn't want to buy one and leave the other one all by itself. You know what I mean? So I just bought both of them because they were priced separately. Of course, not as a set. Which was a good thing in this situation, I guess. Because if I wanted to, I could have just bought one. But, anywho, I did not. Okay. Um, I did get three Christmas things. Oh, I love this. I think this is absolutely awesome. It reminded me of our old sheepdog that we used to have. We named her Panda because she had a one black eye and she looked like a giant panda bear. Look at this. Is this not the cutest thing ever? Look at look at this. Look at this little one trying to climb up on on this poor dog. <laughs> Then we got the little kitty down there playing with the ribbon. It's just an all-around adorable thing. And this little guy up here just hanging out. I mean, it is awesome. Awesome. And it's made by a company called Tykes on Ice. That's what the, uh, the old label says. So I picked that up. I thought that was absolutely darling. And then I got this. Now, this is a Mikasa piece, brand new in the box, but I'm going to pull it out so I can show you. This would make a lovely gift for someone. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely adorable? How cute. You could put another gift inside of here. So this would be a gift as well as whatever you wanted to put inside the gift box. I think this is gorgeous. It almost reminds me of Lennox. Lennox Christmas, but it's not. It's Mikasa. It is Mikasa. So, all right, let me put that back in the box real quick so I do not break anything. So, let me see. What else do I have? So, that was the second Christmas item. Good enough for now. My ear is itching. Then I found this little guy, made in Taiwan. It's just some kind of a little, little Christmas ornament. I thought it was kind of cute. And it looks like it's a spun head. But it's kind of hard to tell from, you know, in the package. But it looks like a spun head one. So I got that. Then I got this, these really, really pretty. Um, oh, God. I should have took the damn stickers off because it's covering up the pretty pattern. I'm not prepared. No, I'm not, but whatever. All right, let me see if I could get this one off. Maybe this one will give me less of a problem. No. No. They come off real easy as soon as you hit, hit, hit them with some water. But, all right, well, anyways, that kind of stinks. But I got these two. See, it's right over the top of the darn Christmas trees. 
but you get the idea. Very pretty set, and I love the color scheme on these. Isn't it pretty? This one is white, but this one is a very pale, like a robin's egg blue. I just thought those were really pretty. And, you know, they're they're like new. They're made by home. Dishwasher, safe, do not microwave. I should have read that, but I didn't. So just drink your coffee while it's hot and you won't have to worry about it. Not like me who warms it up 15 times, you know. Um, then I bought these um, for myself. Little, um, These are blank, little blank decorative cards with envelopes. Um, I'll use them as my little thank you cards in my packages. So those are mine. Then I got this for my son. He hasn't seen it yet. Um, pond, lake, and stream fishing. He loves these vintage fishing books. Y'all know he's a fishing aholic. So I got that for him. And just I just love the cover alone. Just like to set up on a shelf. It's, it's cool. I love it. And what was the date on this? I don't even know if I looked. Uh, 1941. Oh, it even smells old. It's got that old smell. So that's my son's. Then I found these, and these were the only ones. Mm hmm Remember these guys? So there was an ice bucket that matched this. And it was there for the longest time. But I didn't buy it because it was not in very good condition. But these are like phenomenal, phenomenal condition. I had to pick these up. I love these. It's got like the burlap or whatever the heck that is on the inside. <laughs> Those were awesome. I got this. I thought this was just beautiful. Look at this beautiful blue dish. Isn't it pretty? And it's that like icy blue color. How pretty is that? Oh, I just love it. Perfect for wintertime decor. Oh, gee whiz. Oh. Thank goodness I didn't damage it. Guys, I really need to go back to bed or something because, yeah. Uh, got this beautiful pink depression glass cake plate. It's got the little feet and they are all intact. No cracks or chips missing out of the feet. Um, there are no chips or anything um, down here on the underside. It's perfect, perfect condition. Beautiful, beautiful. I found these cute little sun catchers, this little Dutch couple. <laughs> I just thought they were so cute. I have never seen anything like these. So I picked those up. <laughs> they're, they're too cute. Too cute. Um... I got this. I think this is gorgeous. This also was so filthy. I was like, oh my goodness. And it is beautiful. It is made in Bavaria. And look at this beautiful cake plate or platter. You could use it as a platter or a cake plate with the beautiful fruits on there, right? Gold detailing. It's got those little handles. And then that's the mark on the back. So I, this clean, when I cleaned this up, I was like, wow, that is really pretty. I knew it was pretty, but I didn't realize just how pretty it was till I cleaned it all up. It was like yellow and greasy and ugh, it was nasty. Nasty, nasty. 
Um, okay, and the last thing I got is this awesome picture. It just needs a frame. I love this picture. Look at this, guys. Oh, boy. That is my happy place right there, people. Look at that. Oh, that is a gorgeous picture. It is a 16 by 20. All ready to go in a frame. It's already got a mat. And it is beautiful. Gorgeous. Now I just need to find a frame for it. And I'm sure I will. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Love it. So that is everything from the Salvation Army. They didn't have... A whole lot, um, but, oh, no, I forgot. The one thing that I almost just broke, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, you guys. OMG. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful piece of pink depression glass? This would look amazing. Now, this was probably, I would say, for like um, mayonnaise or, you know, like some type of a condiment, you know, or, I mean, you could use it for an ice cream sundae if you, you know, so choose. But this would also look beautiful in a bathroom. I know I always say bathroom, but I can't help it. With the decorative soaps inside or cotton balls, Q-tips. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Look at how pretty that is. The design of it is just awesome. Oh, love this piece. Really, really do. I've never seen anything like this so far in pink depression glass in the wild or actually ever this is the first time i have found this and i just think it's stunning so they're done now <laughs> i did not forget anything else uh i hope you enjoyed the uh, haul video guys and um i'll catch you in the next one hopefully I'm a little better, uh, you know, <laughs> than I was today, dropping everything, forgetting things. It's just, you know, it's one of those days. Um, nothing you can do about it, right? But just laugh about it, I guess. Um, also, today is Monday when I'm filming this. Tuesday at 7.30 Eastern time. I will be joining um, Janides and Sean on Sean's channel, Skunky Junk, for a three-way live sale. So you won't want to miss that. I believe it is a milk glass inspired sale. So if you like milk glass, you'll want to be there because I know I have some fantabulous pieces that I am that I am selling. Yes, I am. And they're gorgeous. So, and I'm sure Sean and Janice also have some amazing pieces because they always do. So definitely stop by Skunky Junk's channel and check it out. All right, guys. As I said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.